Ви та... так, чую. Працюю. Дозвольте вас привітати сьогодні і відкрити цей захід. Я бачу в цій залі багато знайомих облич, багато нових облич, дуже цьому раду. Мене звуть Наталя Слинько, я заступник директора програми «Лідерство в економічному врядуванні». Це програма, яка фінансується Агентством США з міжнародного розвитку, і метою нашої діяльності є створення сприятливих умов для розвитку малого та середнього підприємництва. Сьогодні у нас особлива подія, тому що ми презентуємо розробки в сфері, які не яку працювали майже два роки. Це сфера розміщення... which wants to draw attention to its commercial activity. These are local authorities, which are to help placement of the uh, outdoors advertisements. These are citizens who are consumers of the such type of advertisements. And usually the events like the one which is happening today, we start with the words that the experts of our program have developed some proposals that we'll be presenting today. Today we'll be talking about presentation of some uh, projects which have become the result of the work of many participants of the process. Our program is the platform for this cooperation. I will not take a lot of your time and uh, for us to move forward fast, I'd like to give the floor to the chief pro expert of our program, Lubomir Czerny, and he will introduce the participants of our discussion. First of all, good afternoon. I will introduce our participants. Our format is of the briefing, and we'll be giving you some ideas. But first of all, so that you understand who participates in the briefing, Oleksandr Opanasenka, the MP of Ukraine, he initiated one of the draft laws which has become the basis for the development of this version. Maxim Nifyodov, the first Deputy Minister of Economic Development and Trade of Ukraine, Victoria Sumar, MP, Head of the Parliamentary Committee on Freedom of Speech and Information Policy of the Verkhovna Rada, I was introduced and the colleague from the Association of Outdoor Advertisement Operators, uh, Oksana Polishuk. Uh, first, I will give the floor to Victoria Sumar because we were working on this draft law on the basis of the committee and it was registered uh, at the initiative of the committee. Thank you. Good afternoon. On the one hand, this topic is um, sort of not very topical, but on the other hand, it is very topical because the outdoors advertisement is uh, the outdoor image of our towns and cities. When we are talking about European integration, this looks uh, uh, so that uh, it should look so that uh, the picture itself should correspond to what we are talking about. Ukraine now is closer to Shanghai than to Europe when we are talking about outdoor advertisement because there are too much of it. And there are many illegal structures, the structures which sometimes are dangerous for historical buildings and for life and security of citizens because they stole, they, they are put on some stands which are very often rusted. And it was important for us to develop the document which would make this market of advertisement clear, understandable, transparent, 
and uh, which would clean Ukrainian towns and cities so that they look like European cities. We looked at the experience of uh, Warsaw, other cities. We were uh, having many arguments. Uh, those who are in advertising business wanted to have more opportunities for them. Uh, people who are taking care of the image of the town would like to have uh, less of such things, but we all as citizens of Ukraine are interested in having order in our cities, and so that the market of this important sphere functions transparently and so that we understand it. We received many initiatives. There were several comprehensive draft laws, then they were uh, finalized and um, worked on the, in the government. I thank the Ministry of Economic Development and Trade. They worked very seriously. They got together all the experts who studied the best practices of different cities and they discussed it with the local authorities and the result we developed. We came up with the proposal to register the draft law of the committee, all members of the committee. Our committee signed it. The document is very systemic. It provides for the competitive procedures for getting the license so that uh, the entity could become the operator of outdoor advertisement and there could be only four types of outdoor advertisement. This is a novelty. Another novelty is are clearly defined distances between the outdoor advertisements. We develop the requirements to the maps which are to be approved by local authorities. Only after the map is approved, only after that you can install the board. And uh, after this law is approved, the cities will be much cleaner. And uh, um, first of all, there will be normal high quality structures. We will understand who are the owners of such structures and the owners would, will receive these permits on a competitive basis very transparently. We'll do everything so that this very serious comprehensive document gets to the parliament so that the lobbyism of some uh, big cities or one big city does not become an obstacle for approving of this draft law, which is so important for Ukraine and which will be a very important step towards making Ukrainian cities European. And we put the norm that the language of the outdoors advertisement is uh, the Ukrainian language. It's not about the titles, names, brands. Uh, this could st stay in another language, but in general, the language of the outdoors advertisement should be Ukrainian. Thank you. Good afternoon. On my part, I would like to join uh, everyone in greetings. Uh, uh, the project was complicated, as always. Uh, there should be uh, a very difficult period of discussions and long period of discussions because be before any draft law is passed uh, because there are so many stakeholders and the interests could be contradictory. And that's great that we managed to find the common language. From the point of view of the Ministry of Economy, we are interested in two issues. First, that the law should be um, uh, made um, uh, compatible with the other legislation because uh, the current law on advertisement does not uh, correspond to all the new uh, changes and amendments in the legislation. The new draft law uh, has uh, the um, list of documents which are to be submitted, the conditions, the terms on which the permit could be issued or the permit uh, uh, could be annulled. 
This is the simplification for business. These are very clear and understandable rules of game, and no one can manipulate them, and no additional functions or additional services could be uh, added. And the second issue is um, attracting investments into this sphere. It's understandable that the sphere of advertisement is very important component of the economy. And we want it not just to be in vacuum, but so that it is uh, compatible with uh, uh, the um, um, image of the city, because advertisement is uh, the integral component of the city or village or town, and um, it should be installed according to certain uh, rules. We are convinced that the transparent rules uh, will help attract uh, investments and will help create competitive uh, uh, environment for investors. I am happy that in the draft law we now have the norm which allows the cities to conduct uh, competitions for placing advertisement, and we are sure, sure that the competition will guarantee the best result, because when there's no compet competition, it leads to some uh, uh, non-transparent agreements. And we included the criteria of the competitions. That's not just the price, but technical characteristics. Uh, the volume of social advertisement, qualification of the participant, and what is most interesting for this is, is uh, so that the advertisement doesn't look like some strange object, a uh, lion object, which uh, uh, just irritates people. It should become uh, something that will be perceived uh, as uh, brand mowers on Piccadilly Square or in Times Square in New York. I would like to thank you, all of you and uh, also the committee, which has finalized uh, this document. I'd like to thank the project, because without your participation and without your expert knowledge and patience, this would have never happened. I would like to thank my colleagues from the Ministry of Economic Development, and I hope that we'll have a very good project and will not be ashamed for it, and uh, it has uh, all the chances to be approved in the nearest future. Good afternoon the registration of this draft law 2702 these are two and a half years of work uh, two and a half years ago the first uh, uh, draft law 2702 was uh, registered uh, and also by Yemis and uh, Elena Matuska uh, with Taris Tashuk and uh, at the first stages of uh, vacation of this law, there were a lot of issues that were raised, and uh, there were many comments and proposals, and uh, a big, powerful working group was created, and uh, uh, maybe Lubomir will correct me, but uh, they worked for about uh, 100 hours, and I thank for the platform that was created on the level of LAV project and for good moderation. Also, the representatives and the specialists of the ministry were involved, uh, and uh, uh, also city administration specialists uh, of uh, Kiev city administration were also involved, and uh, I attended about 20 percent of these meetings. And for me, it was rather difficult because there were uh, constant uh, uh, vivid discussions. And uh, the pleasant thing is uh, that due to these uh, um, due to these meetings. Uh, we have quality document and it uh, uh, is in uh, it was uh, reviewed by our committee and uh, also uh, we added some important things to this document and the result we got a complex document that I believe 
after adoption in two years, it uh, will change our um, cities, uh, the streets of our uh, cities, though, uh, and uh, the citizens will benefit, uh, business will benefit due to this, uh, due to uh, transparent procedures, and uh, uh, maybe our draft law goes into too many details, and maybe uh, some experts do not like uh, such detailed draft laws, but I believe that in this case, this is the only uh, right decision, because if it is uh, so detailed, so the procedures will be more transparent and less corrupt. And I'm sure that all Ukrainians will benefit uh, due to the adoption of this draft law, and I hope it will be adopted soon. Uh, some uh, USAID leadership uh, in economic development. I would like to say several words. The matter is the work on this topic was initiated by several um, city administrations uh, uh, who paid their attention to the uh, uh, to the advertisement was placed near the roads, uh, and uh, uh, when we started to consider this topic, we didn't even realize uh, um, the um, big number of interests, big number of uh, uh, topics we will encounter, the groups of influence who want to participate in the discussion. And this work was launched two years ago, and uh, uh, the basic uh, uh, concept was elaborated in spring 2017. And uh, uh, from this concept, we started to move uh, to uh, work on our proposals, to coordinate them with uh, other proposals, and this was uh, long and serious work. And in the framework of our program, we carried out many uh, events, and we discussed um, uh, this topic in different cities, in Lviv, Vinitsa, Sumy, and in Kiev. We uh, held discussions with the local operators and discussions with the representatives of Kiev city administration. And uh, in Kiev, we spent about 100 hours, and these were discussions. Uh, uh, and uh, we had discussions in other cities, and uh, we also discussed these issues in Lviv, and we spoke with local operators and other participants of the market and with the uh, city administration. We also tried to present it at different uh, public platforms and uh, to involve business associations uh, that work uh, uh, with this topic, not only all Ukrainian, but also local organizations. And in some uh, towns, uh, we um, uh, also motivated uh, the activity of uh, organizations and business that uh, get united. And uh, also, uh, we spent a lot of time to coordinate all the proposals at different uh, uh, levels uh, concerning legislation and the draft law uh, will introduce changes to 10 laws uh, on the whole, and it coordinates uh, its uh, um, uh, statements and uh, it uh, 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 it also concerns uh, some city development automobile laws. Uh, uh, automobile roads and uh, law and administrative services and uh, uh, permits um, uh, for economic activity. So this is a comprehensive and serious document that, in our opinion, should identify a single procedure that should be used by different cities, different regions of Ukraine from one side and uh, from the other, it uh, provides some options because there are some cultural, uh, economic and uh, other differences of the cities. And uh, there at the level of uh, schemes, at the level of establishment of requirements, uh, and they can uh, put additional limitations. But on the whole, this will be 
uh, going on uh, in one logic and one procedure, and we hope that the law will uh, uh, will provide all the cities with the uh, uh, schemes of uh, placement of um, advertisement, and this will be done uh, due to these uh, schemes. So we have a comprehensive uh, draft law that, in our opinion, will help to uh, manage situation in the uh, sphere of uh, outdoor advertisement and will take into account the interests of different groups. And we hope that the process that uh, we tried uh, to moderate uh, in our program. And uh, uh, this is the example of uh, the platform for dialogue. And it will be a good signal for other markets. And the participants of other markets will see that uh, together with parliament, together with government and the local authorities, they can reach some compromise. And uh, at the end, they can get uh, uh, quality uh, products. So, um, and I hope that business should also, uh, business also so should um, tell us about the expectations from the draft law. I would like to say that business expects that there will be changes um, in the seven, Article 17. And we wait for this for six years. We were speaking about this problem for six year, years, and we faced this uh, problem uh, both at the national uh, level and at the local level, because the absence of proper law that would correspond uh, to uh, uh, um, existing market, it creates a real problem in the cities, and uh, each city uh, takes legal, uh, uh, adopts legal acts that lead to chaos, and we see it in the sphere of permits and in the placement of uh, advertisement in the cities. So on behalf of business, on the behalf of the Association of uh, Outdoor Advertisement, I would like to thank you for your work to the members of the committee, to people's deputies who really heard us and paid attention to this problem. And also I would like to thank the ministry for active participation in work in the program, that they created such a platform. And uh, it was really pleasant to work. And it is always pleasant to work. Then you are heard when there is real dialogue. And uh, uh, when in the process of such dialogue, an, ef an efficient text is uh, emerging. So uh, we understand that the law is always a balance of interests. and. Uh, 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 we believe that uh, this draft law is oriented uh, more to provide for the interests of the state and the citizens, but compared with the uh, existing norms and with the initiatives uh, that are registered by the Supreme Council, we state that this is an important step ahead. And uh, the main um, is that this draft law creates conditions uh, for the table uh, uh, f for transparent business, uh, for uh, f f for functioning proper functioning of the market, and uh, we worked on this topic for a long time. And uh, without the support of local and uh, legislative power, uh, all our efforts would uh, be in vain, and only wishes of uh, socially responsible operators uh, to uh, simplify um, procedures. And uh, also, uh, we believe that the adoption of this draft law will provide opportunity to bring the dialogue uh, within society uh, and power that it will be a constructive dialogue. and. Uh, uh, um, also the right of uh, local government to develop the 
uh, schemes for the establishment of uh, advertising uh, structures. This is the only efficient way uh, to uh, uh, to establish order in this uh, sphere, and uh, these schemes will envisage uh, the uh, design and the distance between the structures and the placement of advertisement will be done systemically, not chaotically like it is done now. And due to the introduction of the norms uh, that I envisaged uh, in the draft law, there will be the decrease of the number of uh, advertisements, uh, and this is viewed positively. And there is such a request uh, of uh, many cities and uh, advertisers, and uh, we believe that after uh, this draft law is registered, there will be quick adoption by the Supreme Council, and uh, we will uh, implement the, uh, this draft law. No, no. Thank you. I believe that we have some more time left, and if you have questions, if you want to comment, if you want to share some information, we'll be happy to answer your questions or react to your um, comments. So the floor is yours. If you have any questions, colleagues, you're welcome. Once you ha have no questions, then I will have one question. I'm Yemets Maria, UCMC. Maybe you remember, but how? Uh, what does the draft law say about the situation where the there could be in the underground the advertisement of contraceptives or uh, like our prices are mm, and not um, uh, decent, they are accessible. Uh, I'm talking about the advertisement which uh, is not basically for children and the children are everywhere. This doesn't uh, concern the topic of the draft law because the issues uh, addressed by this draft law is about placement of the outdoors uh, advertisement. You are talking about the content and about indoor advertisement. Such norms are regulated uh, according to the law on advertisement, but not by the norms which regulate the outdoors advertisement. I understand your question. It's uh, about the content. This draft law is um, much deeper. It's about the form. It's not about the content. I'm talking about the content, it's only about the language of the advertisement. As to contraceptives, uh, you know that uh, they are not prohibited in our country. What is uh, regulated and uh, restricted, limited is uh, the advertisements uh, of alcohol and tobacco goods. I believe that there are many uh, um, facts of sexism in the outdoors uh, advertisement when they use the women's breasts uh, to uh, advertise something that's too much. We are now discussing the issue whether we need to regulate the content, and I believe that it's the regulation which is to really um, work here. We need to think about who to, how to present it, uh, respecting morals and norms of ethics. This norms and ethics should be the issue, not for the state, but for self-regulation. Now we have this liberal approach, and it really works. I got together the working groups to discuss that we need to introduce stricter norms in this respect. But we hope that uh, mm, there will be more of self-regulatory uh, measures and um, mm, that this all works. Now there's a question. 
and one more edition. There's one interesting thing about it. I know that the Anti-Monopoly Committee of Ukraine has already paid attention to that, and that that's unfair competition. Uh, like lowest prices uh, or the best 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 product or other things such slogans they uh, deceive the consumer they violate the rules of fair competition and this problem is uh, also something that we will need to address but the market also, if it can uh, uh, operate uh, in a more stable and more uh, predictable manner, it will be self-regulated and self-regulating. Pravda Tut publication. I'd like to ask about outdoors advertisement. Could you give some examples of violations of outdoors advertisement in Kiev or in Ukraine, so that we understand it, so that we can go outside and see that that's violation, that's violation. We worked on the document a lot, and we understand what we want to correct. This. Uh, great number of outdoors advertisement for which no permits are issued. Like there are some flags uh, which are put on bridges. One day they uh, add some flags with one uh, brand. Who issued such permits or supermarket? They decided to organize an advertisement campaign. They installed some structures, and the supermarket is surrounded by some uh, 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 certain uh, uh, slogans or something. And it looks like outdoors advertisement. Then on historic buildings, where they put anything, and the task, our task was to remove such violations so that we have only four types and so that everyone knows that we have only four types of structures which are allowed for outdoors advertisement. Violations. Sometimes you cannot find the owner. There's a structure. It's rusted, it could fall uh, on heads of people who walk by, and you cannot find the owner. You cannot go to the communal services and say, remove it. They say, we cannot find the owner. But once there's no owner, uh, they will have to remove such structures within several weeks, all illegal structures which are installed without permits, to say nothing about those which are dangerous. And the document will uh, regulate it. And we also described the requirements to these maps. The uh, local authorities will decide where could this uh, outside, outdoors advertisement be put. They will decide that there could be less of them, such structures near the schools or more near the um, gas stations, because this will be in the requirements uh, to the maps which are approved by local authorities. So now no one will be able to uh, put these structures next to each other because along the highway, for example, along the road, and very often that leads to car accidents because such uh, advertisements uh, distract drivers. I also would like to mention that now in our committee we are ready to submit to the parliament the draft law which prohibits uh, putting uh, such so types of legs or uh, some other uh, things like hanging um, advertisements, and we want to introduce one single database 
which will be the instrument for public control, where every citizen of the city could go uh, and check with the uh, database whether this uh, structure is legal, whether it was uh, allowed, whether the owner received permit to install it. So in any case, we are creating the instruments of control for civil society so that the civil society can influence the image of uh, the environment of the municipality. I agree with the, everything that has been mentioned. I would like to add a little more about violations to say which violations. The violations um, that some business operators violate and also the authorities violate who issue permits. In some cases, there's uh, illegal placement of structures, and that's, uh, th these are both sides to be blamed in it. Why such violations um, appear? Because of different reasons. It could be because uh, of the owner of the structure who doesn't want to get it registered properly but wants to install it but also the authorities cannot dismantle it quickly because at the level of the law there's no such notion as dismantling of advertisement structure. And uh, now uh, the draft law will um, describe what is uh, dismantling of the structure and it will have the clear procedure of how this should be done. Also, the violation of the terms of issuing the documents. The owner of the structure can request the permit, but now the law doesn't uh, give the clear list of documents, the time frame for issuing, and that's why there are different manipulations. Operator can request uh, they will not issue the the issue will not be permit uh, the permit will not be issued and um, the structure which is installed will be illegal also uh, there will be requirements as to the number of uh, advertisements or amount of advertisements to be placed uh, we will when the, the our draft law will set very clear rules of game and the zones of responsibility of each party and clear punishment for violating the rules. And then we'll be able to say, yes, there are such and such violations and this and that and that is uh, uh, has violated because he or she, they haven't done what is in the law. I believe there's one more important aspect. You asked about examples. There are towns where the permit is issued for one month, but the problem is that the body, the authority, which issues the permit very often considers the documents for receiving this uh, um, uh, structure for longer than one month. If you received the permit, uh, for one month and after you receive the permit, you submit the documents, uh, you can get uh, uh, the documents to extend this permit. Then you can get this, uh, uh, the answer in three months and then your structure is, becomes illegal. And uh, everyone loses, uh, in this case, the citizens, the operator, and also, if the structure is uh, uh, put without the permit, then it's difficult to get payment for installment of such uh, structure. Another issue is payment for uh, installing such uh, uh, advertisements. Now, every local authority decides on where this money should go and how much should be paid.
and very often the money is collected non-transparently and this is a big problem. Our draft law will also address this issue so that the budgets receive payment for those advertisements in a transparent way. Another clarification, what will be the maximum area of one advertisement which could be placed on the facade of the building, the maximum area. The law does not regulate the uh, number of square meters. The draft law provides for placement of outdoors advertisement on facades of buildings which are uh, historic monuments. Um, with the exception of when this is done on the facade of a building which is renovated and the money for this advertisement is used for renovation, uh, the rest is uh, under the powers of the local authorities and they will do it in accordance with the zones which the city is divided into. There's a historic part of the city, the so-called uh, periphery, different buildings uh, um, may have different advertisement area. As to the land outdoor advertisement, that is what is placed on the ground. There are types four types, as we have mentioned already, of uh, objects. Small format, city format, city light format. Uh, that is in historic part of the city. Scroll format, and uh, that's the format of the central part of the city, that's European format. There's a format of the uh, shield billboard and unipolo format. It's a big uh, structure which is placed on large highways. It's more than, uh, it's from 32 to 56 square meters. Like now, so that you all understand the, the um, ring road, these are uh, the structures which are outside the um, big cities or on big highways. The, again, the cities will approve the maps of uh, putting the advertisement and they will identify how many and which types of structures could be placed. If the municipality decides that it could be many of them on the facade, okay. It could be like in Times Square where 100% is occupied by advertisement. And it's a point of uh, business concentration. In another area, there should be no advertisement at all. So it again should be regulated by the regulations at the level of every municipality. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you for presenting this, uh, for presentation of this uh, draft law on uh, this, on the topic of consuming the information on installing the advertisement. And my question is uh, on our further cooperation. We all hope that the draft law will be successfully adopted because uh, it's important for our society, but then it is important to execute, to d draft uh, different regulations and bylaws. I believe this will be a very difficult process because this chaotic situation will require some uh, will 
and the task of our program is to support and introduce the legislation. If you have some of such ideas, please share. Я думаю, що під час якраз I believe that when drafting we had um, very we, we established very professional contacts between all the stakeholders, the Verkhovna Rada, the civil society, the ministry. So I hope that we'll continue this cooperation in the same format. And I hope that it will take two years, maybe more, but eventually this will all work well. And we'll be helping at all the levels. It is worth noting that in this draft law, we introduced some norms concerning the issues that should be identified at the level of the Cabinet of Ministers, should be regulated by the provisions of the Cabinet of Ministers. And we also introduced some norms concerning additional limitations that they are established by local government in the territories where it is proposed to place some structures. So we clearly divided the competence of different powers in order that this outdoor advertisement issue was properly regulated. So the law cannot encompass all the details of the functioning of the market, especially the orders, the procedures, and the terms connected with the placement on the limitations. Um, the, the framework is established by law, and uh, the details will be introduced at the level of the Cabinet of Ministers, or they will be done by the uh, local authorities, so this logic is clearly defined there, and we hope that uh, the issues of responsibility will be resolved in this. So territorial communities, uh, active uh, uh, unions, uh, they should understand that they should pressure local government, they should address local government in order to regulate one or another issue or uh, demand that some violations be stopped. So I believe that uh, we have all these norms and they are all incorporated in the text. Thank you. So if there are no more questions. We thank our speakers and the journalists who attended this meeting. Thank you.